Hey everybody, Wanna Weezum here. It is Sunday, February 22nd, 2015. I am freezing. Uh, snow outside is very cold. Uh, the heater's running if you don't hear me very well, but uh, I'm not going to complain about the heater running. That said, it was last Sunday uh, that we had uh, Nitro Headrush show up at Target and Legendary Bushwhack. You can see flobbing around over here show up at Toys R Us. Uh, the good news is they both actually did show up, and I was able to pick them up. Uh, I am not a fan of Sunday releases. I don't like dealing with the crowds. 90% of the time when it's a game or something like this, the employees don't have the set item stocked, even though it might be their exclusive. In the case of these two, uh, case in point, I went Thursday night when I run my usual errands, and uh, Target had to actually pull out the case of 12 Nitro head rushes. Uh, so I got the first pick of the litter, I suppose you could say. Uh, Toys R Us did have them out, and uh, their trap selection, though, as I've mentioned previously, was, like, ridiculous. That's still all water and maybe two life traps. But speaking of life, we are going to be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Legendary Bushwhack. Bushwhack, of course, is a life element trap master. Uh, he appeared not too long ago, really, but uh, now we finally have the second counterpart, and we can explore both, what are they, I think Axe Avenger and Armor Awesomeness, so uh, that's exciting, that's again why I've held off upgrading him, because I like to do them back-to-back -back when possible, basically base upgrades, path one, path two, and then you can see it all and take it in and see if you want to, you know, change paths on the figure you have, pick up the legendary to have the other path, uh, reset your character, all that jazz. So that said, I honestly don't even remember what Toys R Us charges. I'm guessing 15 or 16.99. You should know what it is. But uh, I did pick up uh, Toon Link with him. That's what's interesting. Usually their buy one get one 40% is Skylanders or you know Amiibo only. And uh, when I was looking at the tag, you know there's no other Skylander I needed. I uh, would have bought some traps to get the sale, but of course they didn't have anything I needed. And uh, <clears throat> it actually said Skylanders, Infinity, or Amiibo, and I thought, hmm. And I checked, and you can mix and match, so keep that in mind if you run into the same situation. Uh, that said, of course, the Trap Master packaging is pretty awesome. It's got the prismatic effect. Right down here, you can see Ultimate Trappers, and there's a uh, inset artwork of Legendary Bushwhack. There's his name, Slogan Axe to the Max. Got the Life Element logo there. He actually looks better than most Legendary, I think, because he has so much more visible gold on him. And uh, that just kind of seems to make him brighter and less dark. Uh, I don't know what it is, but as you can see, their exclusive Legendary series, you've got the printed on the packaging <clears throat> Toys R Us right there. On the back side, snapshots in your hand on the portal and in the game, Bushwhack will work the same way. There's artwork for Legendary Bushwhack. You can see it looks much darker in the uh, artwork there. Of course, other Life Element Skylanders, Bushwhack, who we've got, Sure Shot, Shroom Boom, who's back in Series 2, I still believe underrated, uh, Whisper Elf, and then High Five. Now, Free to Olay did that contest where you could win him. I don't even mess with those anymore. They've gotten to the point where they just get worse every year. I literally, I didn't even mention, I don't think, that they were doing it. And it's just because it's ridiculous, and I don't want to waste my time with it. And similarly, I don't want to waste your time. If it was a deal like the Sky Stones, where I open up a box of Cheerios and everybody gets a deck of cards, yes, that's how you do a promotion. Uh, the hoops I have to jump through, through free to, I don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm past that. Now, it's, it's a deal they've regressed every time, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to join them on their roller coaster ride downhill. So, uh, that said, High Five and Batspin, what I was getting to there, they're going to be part of Wave 4, but what sucks is they're going to ship one to a box, uh, so they're going to be pretty hard to come by. That said, uh, Trap Master Skylanders, trap and play as villains, powerful trap taming a weapon. Uh, only other bit there is just what you see. Uh, and of course, being brand new to Trap Team, he is only compatible in Trap Team at this point. So, through the magic of me turning the camera on and back off, or off and back on, I should say, I'm gonna crack the packaging. These guys are a little tough to open, and uh, we'll get him out and uh, save you some precious viewing time. And there we go. Uh, obviously, the Trap Master is the most difficult Skylanders to open up this go around. Uh, the standard in the traps basically are just like falling apart. Uh, when you start pulling on them, which is super awesome and convenient, but uh, the Trap Master's a little bit more complex. Now, before we take a look at Legendary Bushwhack, we get his stat card and the sticker sheet. Sticker sheet, of course, you got the name tag below that, QR code, and a web code. Uh, stat card for Legendary Bushwhack actually looks pretty good, if we get it to focus. Uh, power, 250. Armor, 90 of 250. Agility, 230 of 250. And Luck, 70 of 250. 
Add all that up, and we have got 485, 50, 640 out of 1,000, which is pretty high. Uh, that's some nice statistics there. Uh, his in-game stats should be slightly superior to Bushwax. I don't exactly know how they'll pan out. When you watch his introduction video, which I believe will be number 46, uh, I will compare and contrast those if you take the links at the top of this video description. Once I've got the other videos and the stats compiled, uh, you will basically see their card stats, so you can compare and contrast. You'll see the in-game stats, so you can compare and contrast, and uh, we will take it from there. Something on the pool table is a miss. <clears throat> if someone is missing, if you notice who it is, uh, leave a comment down below and you will see them very shortly. That said, what I like to do here, don't grab him by the axe and start pulling him out. I know that's a lot of people's you know, uh, desire to do so, but there's these little tabs back here. So what you want to do is just pull that plastic down, fold it out of the way. If this was an Amiibo, it would slide. Well, how about that? It did slide right out. So that is pretty cool. <clears throat> I have to say again, and I think it's because of his larger scale... And probably <clears throat> just the fact that there's more gold on him. It kind of brightens him up. It doesn't make him seem as dark like a legendary jawbreaker. He almost looks, even legendary blades, uh, they both are just very, very dark. Uh, you almost can't pick the blue out. It's almost more on the black side of the dark blue. I feel like this, you can definitively tell, is blue. Uh, it is a dark blue, legendary blue, I suppose. But uh, just the extra gold on this kind of really brightens it up and provides a nice contrast in this case. So uh, one of the better colorings, I guess we could say, for a legendary Skylander. That said, he looks just like his counterpart, uh, Bushwhack here. Everything has been, you know, color scheme altered, if you will. Of course, he's got the ultimate forest vibe. You can't confuse these. But I have to say... <clears throat> legendary Bushwag doesn't look that bad as a legendary, so that is a pleasant surprise. Uh, again, this is definitely more natural, what you'd expect to see in the forest. And then this is just a really, really nicely done legendary, in my opinion. So, slogan once again is Axe to the Max. <clears throat> Born to a race of tree elves who were protectors of the rich Arcadian Timberland, Bushwhack was supposed to be a ranger, but being the smallest of his clan, he was sent deep into the woods by the chieftain to study with Arbo. Uh, <clears throat> if I wasn't losing my voice, I would totally have done the Arbo I'm a Tree song right there. Uh, you can interject that on your own, if you are so inclined. Arbo, of course, is known for helping the Skylanders rebuild the Core of Light, hashtag SSA. That tree spirit looked beyond Bushwhack size, and seeing that he had the heart of a warrior taught him many secrets. Arbo even gifted him with an enchanted axe, hence his Traptanium weapon of choice. So, when a legion of lumberjack trolls invaded the forest and overpowered the elves, it was legendary Bushwhack <clears throat> who set out to stop them. Drawing out the trolls, he used his legendary enchanted axe and knowledge of the forest to capture them and destroy their tree-cutting machines. Afterward, legendary Bushwhack was not only made a ranger, but a Skylander, and a legendary one at that. As part of the trap team, he now uses his legendary Traptinium axe to wax evil wherever it goes. So... Pretty cool story there, modified it slightly for the legendary status, but the main thing for me, <clears throat> the legendaries do have, again, that slight in-game stat boost. I'm excited to actually see which stats they give to legendary. Um, it's kind of funny, uh, the target employee said, yeah, here they give the nitro speed boost, and it's like, well, you would think so, but that's not always the case. <laughs> so, I'm um, hoping Nitro Headrush does get a speed boost, but uh, that said, uh, obviously my big thing is speed and armor. So if we have some extra armor here, that will be awesome. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time with Bushwhack, but obviously only with his primary attacks. Uh, I have pretty good luck with his secondary attacks, so I'm kind of going to be interested to see how those go. That said, once again, after you've seen this, be looking very shortly thereafter for introduction number 46, which will be Legendary Bushwhack. Um, Legendary Jawbreaker's done. I'm just going to upload that. I mean, not uploaded. It's uploaded. I just have to make it live. <laughs> I have to find it first. It's probably buried at this point. I'll make him live. I'm going to get the Legendary Blades up. Then you will see Legendary Bushwhacks, and again, I'll compile all of the Bushwhack stuff into the same post on my site and the Skylander Club forum. Then after that, you'll see Intro 47 for Headrush. You'll see her uh, comparisons on the site, and then, of course, you'll have all her upgrades. So 
Legendary Bushwhack, lots of content coming out for this guy. Basically, as soon as you see this live, uh, I'll be stalking the site shortly thereafter. And we will have the upgrades ready to go. So that's it for myself and Legendary Bushwhack. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed here on YouTube. Tell your friends to subscribe as well. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, personal site, oneofweasom.com. I also created the Skylander Club forum. You can find it at skylanderclub.com. I have pictures, the stats, uh, all the data that I take and compile that I can't really convey in a YouTube video. They're easy to read spreadsheet forms for you. So be sure to check those out. If you like what you see there, sign up on the forum. We'd absolutely love to have you. It is free and it is fun. So uh, that said, Legendary Bushwhack looks great. Uh, again, he came out last Sunday. My local store Thursday had quite a few of them. They probably had more in the back. Stock, not going to be an issue on this guy, especially if you move in soon. Uh, Nitro Head Rush has another story. <laughs> so the legendaries, they tend to get them in, have a lot of stock, and then if they do sell out, they will eventually be back. There will probably come a point in time, especially like if the port strike screws up wave 4, you will probably see legendary bushwhacks like falling off the pegs. So be on the lookout for some sales. You can usually pick him up. And again, if you're into amiibos or infinity stuff, uh, be sure to check and see if that 40% off sale actually applies across the board and you can mix and match that way. Uh, save you a little bit of cash that you can use on Skylanders when the future waves do arrive. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and for myself and Legendary Bushwhack, we will catch you later.